There's another element that can be added to the timeline down here. It's currently not visible. And let me show you where it is. Under the track menu, right there, show master track. There's a keyboard shortcut of command B. So when I click on this, look what happens at the bottom of the timeline. There it is. The master track appears and it has a pull down menu on the left along with an automation line. By clicking on the pull down menu, I get a few choices, volume, pitch, and tempo. And by programming control points and adding them on the automation line, I can control the volume of the whole project all through the sequence. I'll show you an example in a, in a sec. At the bottom of the pull down menu, we have another choice, add automation. So uh, let's click on that. The add automation sheet drops down, which lists the three master effects that are part of the master track. Echo, reverb, and visual EQ. And if you click on the disclosure triangle next to each effect, there are additional parameters that are available. Reverb, there's reverb volume. You have a few available for the echo. And by expanding visual EQ, you can see several frequency and gain parameters. Simply clicking on the boxes that are next to each parameter, you essentially add these various parameters to the master tracks pull down menu and they become available for automation. Now, since I have low mid gain selected, when I click OK here, it'll appear in the menu. Yes, it does. And if you click, you can see that I now have many more choices and they're broken down into each effects category. And all these parameters are now available for me to automate. Now, let me show you an example using master volume. Let me show you how we can automate the volume of the whole project. For this, I'm going to move towards the end of the project. And the last bar here, the band plays a little line in unison. All right. Okay, let me zoom in just a bit here by dragging the slider to the right. Okay, so we can see that last bar better. And now I'm going to show you how to program a fade out using the master track. And move back to bar 49. And right here is the one bar phrase. And by clicking right on the automation line, I get a first control point. There it is at zero dB. And that'll be my first one. Now, if I go to the end of that same measure and click again on the line, I get another control point. And what I do now is click and hold, drag down all the way to the bottom. And what I end up with is a smooth one bar fade out. Now, keep in mind that I'm using this last measure here as an example. Uh, it's probably not something I would choose to do at the end of a song like this, but uh, let's see what it sounds like. And we have fade out <laughs> from zero dB all the way down to niente. Oh, look at this. It says uh, minus 144 dB, very low. Okay, so now if you want to get rid of the control points, what you do is click inside the master track and then click and drag to the right to enclose both control points. And then you simply hit delete. And that's your master track. Coming up next, all about tracks.